I think the key challenge that we face is the ability to foster appropriate devolution down to local level. Brexit's going to flag up a lot of challenges and what local government needs to do and what a range of partners need to do is be able to tailor local solutions to the problems we have. Funding is one of those key policy challenges. Uh, we will lose an awful lot of money that cities benefit from in terms of responding to uh, business support opportunities, employment, skills, as well as environmental and other low carbon matters. And that needs to be replaced appropriately and there needs to be local flexibility and an ability for local government and its partners to respond accordingly. Inclusive growth is another issue that we need to address. There is a lack of neighbourhood policy, neighbourhood renewal policies in the country, and we need to build place-based holistic solutions to the problems that we have, whether that is around supporting productivity, whether it's around driving the skills that we need for the future, whether it's around uplifting workless, unemployed people. We need inclusive growth to create a future post-Brexit environment that works for all and not just the few. The workshop was really helpful for me. I'm not an academic and we had a number of academics today that have shared an awful lot of insight, research, knowledge, data which isn't easily and readily accessible. Um, in the last two years or almost two years since we chose to leave the European Union, people ask people like me in local government, what's really going to be the impact of Brexit? What does it really mean? And it's really difficult to give an appropriate amount of evidence which is focused on the unknown. Nobody knows what will happen post-Brexit. So there's been a dearth of real quality data that can support possible scenarios of what the future may look like. And then we're planning, when, when we are planning uh, in local government terms for preparing our business, preparing our people, preparing our communities for what life will be like outside the European Union. We need to have a much better understanding of what those impacts can be so we can mitigate against it and we can lobby government in the context of devolution and localising industrial strategies, do the best thing we can to prevent or mitigate against those negative impacts. So today what it's told me is there is a raft of evidence that's been gathered over the last two years that can help, help us as local government policymakers make some key decisions moving forward to respond in the appropriate way.